Today, I will ensure that when I enter values in the tabular form, the calculation updates the relevant field in the payment region. For example, if I enter quantity and rate, the total amount will automatically appear in the amount field of the payment section. The function update items and amount updates the total items and amount by recalculating values from the tabular form and reflecting them in the payment region dynamically. These variables store different calculated totals, total amount total before discount and tax, quantity times rate. Total discount amount sum of all discount amounts. Total tax sum of all tax amounts. Total final amount total after discount and tax. Total discount percent overall discount percentage. Total row subtotal sum of all row subtotals for weighted discount calculations. This loop goes through each row in the table and extracts the numeric values for calculations, quantity entered. Rate per item. Discount percent discount amount tax percent VAT slash tax percentage. These values are used for dynamic total calculations. This line calculates the subtotal for a row in the tabular form if the user manually enters discount amount. The system calculates the discount percent using discount percent equals discount amount divided by row subtotal times 100. It updates the discount percent field automatically. If the user enters discount percentage instead, the system calculates the discount amount using discount amount equals row subtotal times discount percent divided by 100. It updates the discount amount field automatically. This code calculates the tax amount after applying the discount, applies the tax percentage to the taxable amount to get the final tax value. This gives the final payable amount for that row after discount and tax. Each row's total is updated. The overall total, amount, discount, tax, and final payable amount is accumulated. The weighted discount percentage is calculated correctly. Condition, total row subtotal zero ensures division only happens when there are valid row totals. Gives an overall discount percentage based on all row discounts. Helps in accurate calculations when different rows have different discounts. This line updates the Apex page item P9 underscore amount with the formatted total amount. Sets the total discount amount in P9 underscore DIS underscore amount formatted to two decimal places. Updates P9 underscore DIS underscore percent with the calculated average discount percentage. Stores the total tax amount in P9 underscore tax, ensuring the tax calculation reflects dynamically. Updates the final payable amount after discount and tax in P9 underscore total underscore amount. This is the final part of this code.
listens for changes, key up, change, in quantity, rate, discount, or VAT fields. Calls update items and amount to recalculate totals dynamically. Runs update items and amount when the page loads to set initial values. Ensures totals are updated even before user input. White heavy checkmark purpose, real-time calculation updates. Ensures totals reflect correctly on load and when values change. Now I will save and run the page to check the output. We can see that when we enter a value in the rate, quantity, or any other field in the tabular form, it updates the payment fields accordingly.